guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you part two of the bending techniques. So last week I showed you how to bend your strings on your guitar. And that was basically one string pushing down, bending up to raise the pitch of the note that you want to play. Now you have a lot of licks and such that you can do on your guitar, like I showed you in the intro, that are nice effects. That can give a really cool effect when you're playing a solo. And I remember the first time that I learned about this, I was already like 16, 17 years old when I learned this. And that's a cool effect where, for example, uh, the note that you're bending towards, you already play that one on the string underneath that. Let's say, for example, we want to make a bend on the third string, on the 14th fret, and bend the whole step upwards, so two half notes, which is this. More or less, more or less. But the actual note, if we play it on the string underneath that, it's here. And we want to go there through the bend. But we can do that whilst we play the string underneath that. So we play two strings at a time, but the upper string, we bend it upwards. Let's try and go to that pitch, but starting on this position. Let's go. And if you go perfectly to that note, you actually have a, a moment where it only sounds like one note is played because it's exactly the same tone. Now, you can also have an effect where you don't go quite there yet, but just underneath that. And that gives a really uncomfortable but very cool effect, sound uh, to say. So let's first do a clean one and then do it where we don't reach that note. So first the clean one. <laughs> So we actually reach the note. Now let's do it where we don't reach it, but almost. So you hear that it's really, that it's, it's like a conflict of sounds in there. Because of those two notes are so close to each other, but the frequencies are a little bit different. So it sounds like it's not right, but it's really cool if you can add this in a, in a solo or in a, in, or in a riff, it can fit very well. But you can do this on different positions like this, or here. If it's almost the same note that you're bending to and you play it at the same time, you get that effect. Now you can also go further in this technique. Instead of playing them together, play them after each other. And then go even further and play even a string underneath that like this. That's very cool as well. And you can do that on multiple positions as well. For example here. There are of course no strings underneath the E string right here. So can't do this one. Then we can also go further on this one. Because now we always push upwards, but we can hold the bend right there and play it again and return like this. Right? We can also, instead of playing the note that we reach, go a little bit further, like three steps higher than that. So instead of playing this one, playing this one. So this. That's also nice. You have this one. Or you have this one. And you can apply the same method as before like this. Which is very cool sounding in my opinion. And this one you can do it lower as well. Like this for example. This is used in a lot of solos. Now a solo that I think about, for example, covering these techniques is Nothing Else Matters, the original solo from that. And the way I play it, there are a couple of these licks in there. Uh, and it might not be exactly like the original, but it's pretty close, I think, like this. <laughs> And 
then further on in the solo, you have something like this. <laughs> For example, so there are a couple of licks like that in there and it's very cool if you can use them and it's not really that hard to do them separately but you have to exercise it a little bit. So I would just start by getting the hang of just simple bending like this. Half tones, full tones, try to be accurate about the tone that you want to get and then perhaps play it with it. Or just not, which gives a very eerie sound. And then you can combine it. So guys, that was basically it on part two of bending. There are of course more techniques than this, but I think if you get this down already, these techniques, you can do actually a lot of things already when it comes to playing solos and such because of all these cool sounds. Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. To, to raise the pitch of your now you have sim now you have a lot of uh, because they exact and that gives a, a, a really which is very nice right this is used a lot of so there's a there are a couple of and then ex which is which gives a very eerie feel all right guys I hope you'll when it comes to solo and uh, and and guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Guys, I hope you.